Welcome to Geographical Analysis, Lecture 19 on Point Pattern Analysis. In this class, we're going to learn two methods for conducting point pattern analysis. A point pattern is just a scatter plot of points or geographic locations on a plane. And in point pattern analysis, we are going to conduct some hypothesis tests to see if the spatial distribution of the points meet some kind of statistical model or some, some expected distribution or are they uh, having an unexpected distribution? Usually we want to know whether or not the distribution comes from some kind of random process or is the point distribution evidence that there's some kind of geographic process at play that's causing the, the pattern in the points. The random process that we are usually using is something called complete spatial randomness. And this is a theoretical spatial distribution of point events that occur in a completely random fashion. In other words, if we were to draw random numbers and form x and y coordinates from those numbers and create a point distribution from our uh, random points, that would be an example of a, um, of a spatially random distribution. In comparison to that, or to contrast that, we can have a random distribution. And in a random distribution, the data are distributed in a grid-like fashion. Or we can have a cluster distribution, where the points are clumped together into patches throughout the study area. What I want you to do is take a look at this point distribution. The human mind is actually designed to find patterns in point data even when the, those patterns don't exist. I created this data using a random number generator. So these abide by the rules of complete spatial randomness. But I think all of us would agree that we could see perhaps a cluster of points over here, maybe some empty spaces over here, another cluster over here. And, you know, our brains are designed to, to make patterns or to find meaning in these point patterns. But in reality, no pattern actually exists in this data. I, can, I created this data to be completely random. So what we are going to do is use some sort of uh, statistical method to quantify how random these data are. Are they random or are they clustered? We are going to use their statistical properties of the locations of these points to uh, to objectively determine whether or not we're seeing a spatial pattern in these points. This is an example of uniform data. So in this case, all the events are evenly dispersed uh, throughout the study area. So sometimes we're going to call a pattern like this uniform, but we're often going to refer to it as being a dispersed spatial pattern as well. In this case, the distance between all the points is equal, and they're as spread out as possible. In clustered data, more points are located in certain parts of the map, and fewer points are located in other parts of the map. So over here, we've got a location uh, with a lot of points where points are clustering together. We have kind of a random area over here where points appear to be pretty randomly distributed. And then we have areas where there's no points at all. Okay, so if you've got a areas of the map with a lot of points and then areas with the map with no points or with very few points, that's probably evidence that you've got a clustered pattern 